Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Cypher 4 cycle scalping course, in this, in this session and in this video, we are going to discuss about HQ and OHLC and top button scalping, which means half early and quarterly and open high low close. Based on that, we are going to forecast and predict the bouncing areas on top bottom based on the quarterly six months highs and lows we are going to scalp on that it will be a, it will be an excellent area i use this in my daily regular trading and also in my long term analysis also okay okay i have I have taken the Euro USD daily here and USD JPY daily here and I have marked a few setups uh, and I have marked a few lines. If you haven't watched my any free videos in my YouTube, I would suggest you to go on watch it first because I have made a uh, approximately 10 minute video of that. In that I have in detail I have explained how to mark this okay you just go to YouTube and type price action expert without gaps here this is it you can see the logo here once you click that you can see the videos here in that you can see here learn and trade using high low of four quarters you can open that or you can go to YouTube and type SCHRINC strings and you can see this and you can click the uh, in this link here and you can come to this place okay okay if you click this it is almost 14 minutes it gives a detailed explanation okay how to mark the lines and how to place and what are the rules and how to do that very clear it will be very clear it is a very must uh, you have to watch this video only then you should continue further if not it will not be very clear to you you should mark this setup in your uh, trading chart in your trading pair euro usd and usd jpy and keep it and save it using a different uh, template okay it will be a very very helpful See here, Euro USD template, Euro USD trap. I have mentioned it as okay. If I click that, I'll get the entire setup. Okay, I would suggest you to do this. Okay, let's let's move on to the patterns and the explanations. I will give you a brief explanation in this this line here as you can see the place from here to here the zones which I have taken in between these two lines the red line here and here this is actually uh, starting starting candle of 2019 and this is the year end 2019 year end you can see here okay i have marked it in this blue area it is actually one year i mean the previous year the idea is that based on the previous year printed candles and pr printed highs and lows we are going to trade 2020 for example if your previous year is 2019 we should mark this and you have to place it okay so it will not change so based on that we are trading based on this entire 2019 um, printed candles and printed prices we are going to forecast in the 2020 and we, we are going to trade based on that okay so, so everything is based on history only the history itself it repeats most of the time in fact all the time the history repeats itself okay if you see properly you can analyze, you can trade and you can calculate anything as you want to. 
as simple as that okay this is actually first three months of the year okay 2019 you can call it as the first quarter second quarter second three months is second quarter third three months it's a third quarter and fourth three months it's a fourth quarter actually this first two is uh, half yearly okay the first two quarters this is the first half of the 2019 this is the second half of the 2019 just to make you clear i have placed these zones nothing else so that you will not get confused okay this is 2019 the whole year time frame this is the 2019 first half this is 2019 second half half yearly okay okay what are the green lines this is the yearly dark one you can see the green this is the yearly high this is the green line here this is the yearly low here 2019 okay fine so what are the magenta lines okay you can see here magenta color this is actually uh, six months okay high and lows i have marked for the for this for this first half only six months six months is same as half only okay for the first six months i have marked this this is the six months high which is same as yearly high so i have marked yearly alone okay six months high is same as the yearly high okay six months low is here for the next six months this is the next six months or the next half yearly for that this is the starting price this is the first day itself it, it printed the six months high after that till the end of there it hasn't reached to that place okay after to the after end of 2019-2020 only the market which is there and it came to that place okay yes okay this is the yearly low this is the of course this is also the second second six months or second half of the year low this is also on same the low as 2019 yearly low okay so you just mark that i have started from here because this means when the price touches here when you see back you know exactly at this place this is the reason why the market is reaching at this place okay if you if you if you see here the market reached down if you test and look back at this mirror you can see here this is the reason which means second half early high the market tries to touch that and reaches the idea is that every time when the market touches uh, this lines you can scalp okay as simple as that or you can use the patterns which i have mentioned okay you can you can always use the patterns that is the benefit of that and you can always use that four to four or five patterns which i have mentioned in my videos four patterns and few more will be updated later those are the most most used patterns okay for that is more than enough these are the patterns which i use in my regular trading i insist you to read and work more on that okay simply if you follow that it will be easy see the, the first time it touches here it bounces again it comes down three test and comes down okay bounces again it comes down from here this also for pattern four in smaller time frames you can see there is a touch and comes down i have told you many times when the market is in sell trend you just try to scalp in the sell area only so you can do that okay see the previous year in 2019 the whole entire year the pips is almost 690 689 approximately but you can see in the first quarter itself i mean this is 2020 first quarter which this one okay as you can see this is 2 1 2020 see here 1 4 2020 first three months alone you can see the market has gone too much volatile because of, because of this corona situation and uh, instability of the economic scenarios okay you can see uh, wow it has gone actually uh, 850 plus and so it has uh, given the movements up and down in fact not only in one direction in fact from here you can see the last uh, last year it has traveled from top to bottom without any buys and etc it, i mean it's fully in a sell trend there is no buy here but when you look at this one you can see there is a buy there is a drop again there is a, again more than 50 to 60 percent retracement so the the market it's trying hard to break down okay so it, it's been very volatile and uh, the, the entire year's movement has been uh, uh done in within three months only okay within three months itself 
In fact, it's it's very volatile. So you should be careful during these scenarios. As you can see here, the same. Now let's move on to the patterns. As you can see, the first time it reaches the low, it couldn't break the 2019 low. It, it made some trap, and what happens? Goes down. Up. You can you can take a buy here when it touches in your smaller smaller time frames. Okay, this should do it. Okay. Or when it comes down again, it goes here. You can scalp here for a little bit of sell. Okay. Then you will wait for it, and when the price goes much high, and when it comes down to the same place here, you can take a buy. This is very very good place to take a buy. Okay. The more it goes up, and more it comes to the same place, the more likely the chances of the market bouncing back is is really good. As you can see here. See here, smaller time frames. So many times again, it breaks down. It it takes a while to come back. When it goes up again, as you can see, there is a bit of sell here. Same situation here. When it touches here, it drops a little bit, as you can see. So practice in that yearly, monthly guys are very much important, as we have discussed in the previous session of the course. I told you how Fibonacci and monthly highs are very much important. This is the what i have marked marked here in this chart is actually half yearly and three months highs and lows okay which are most 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 powerful even more powerful than the monthly highs okay so you should trade and you should always see in this area okay i have this line white line if you have seen my youtube video you know that it is used to mark this this alone i mean this this particular three months highs and lows alone which is very much of importance i will just try to pinpoint it okay let's let's start from here this is the low of the high of the three uh, first three months i mean first quarter okay but it is also the yearly high so there is a line so we don't have to mark there so you, if it come then the low is here okay if you see and if you come down you can see here there is a low here this is the first quarterly low this is very very important as you can see the see see here how many times the price it tries to break up on down 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 up what is the reason because there is a yeah, three month low in that place okay so practice in that you can do so many scalpings in that area and if you find out one place which is a good where the market tries to break up and come down and it dances a bit here see up down up down up down up down if you see the price action you can understand okay how to know how the how to trade in this areas how to uh, how to trade how to make entries see the patterns which i have told you so based on that take your entries okay if there is a sell direction you, if you're not uh, sure about the uh, entries sometimes in the real time it confuses so practice on that do so many back testing okay what you have to do is you you, you have to mark in 2018 and forecast in 2019 and see what happened in the 2018 highs and lows and based on that how the market has reacted here so you will have to do the homework okay so it will help you in many ways in fact in the long term perspective also so now this is the three months i'm placing it I'm, I'm going to copy it and i'm going to see for some other places see here there is also a second This is the second quarter, okay. This is the second quarter. This box, this time frame here, to be exactly this is one, okay. This is the high year, okay. This is the second. As you can see here, the price touches these two places and came down in the future also. This is why I suggest you to place the lines always. As you can see here, the price touches here. So many rejections again comes down. It misses a bit, just a bit. As you can see, if in if you see in a smaller time frame, you can see that. Yes. See here, how many rejections? Same place. 
such as here it's doing all the manipulations here later on it comes down touches here and then drops so this will be your entry very good one okay you can do that there is a bit of a pin bar here so when the market touches here you, you try to do that so you, you should be in the direction of the trend only here you, you, you might have gone for a buy because there is a bit of a huge buy and it is keep moving upwards see here the prices which have marked it went up and stopped there again it comes down you can scalp here in the buy direction when it comes down again there is a little bit of here you can take a buy entry here and keep doing that okay simple as that when the market comes down you, you wait for it when it goes down big and it, it, it retraces in the early low which I have mentioned you few minutes back and again it touches this place it drops again when it touches the previous yearly low it struggles a bit as you can see okay very very powerful this is actually see the thing is it this this will not be perfect if you think the market will exactly stop here and go up that is where many traders may make the mistakes what it does is down up down up down up this is what it does this is the secret here the secret is the market is not perfect so that's the flaw if it is perfect everybody will take buy here okay everybody will take sell here on this place it is not perfect it tries to trap us by giving from fake movements are down it may go down a bit later on it comes there so read the price okay it is very clear here okay nice the idea is really good and uh, let's see if there are any three months here there is a three months button here there is a bit of three this is the starting point of 110 this is a three months low here it is almost same as uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, keep this as a main one, okay? Uh, a green one as a yearly low. Already I have marked here. Already I have marked here. Okay. Let's see here. Here there is a bit of. Uh, this is the fourth fourth quarter. One, two, three, four. This is the last quarter. High is actually it happened in the last day actually. Wait. Yes, thirty-one twelve. It is the high. After that, when the year starts, the market starts to go down. So these are the ideas you will get very clearly when the start of the year, when the, when the new freshly year starts, the trend change happens. It, it couldn't be able to break the uh, first three months year low. It again drops there. Again, you can see the six months low here. It again, it drops and it returns. We will get an idea. So the market is not likely to go. Up, it's trying to go down for that. You can take a sell in the longer term point also. Let's see. I have marked this okay. Three months. Let's see if there is any movements here. Okay. Yes, see the market is stopped here when touches the first time as you can see here right this is where the zone I have marked stopped here again again it stops here you can see a little bit of 20-30 pips you can scalp there when the market goes and again touches here I told you when the more it long goes up and comes down you can scalp so it's a very good place from here as you can see almost 50 to 60 pims you would aim for almost 15 to 20 pips. It is good, really good. Okay, yes, you can easily you can easily scalp 10 pips in these areas. Yes, it's good and it's 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 trying to retest just a bit and after that it drops. If you mark the line correctly, uh, you might see that it might uh, happen. It's down, the retest here, again goes down, and it's one, okay? Mildly happens, the retest is very mild, and you have to see that, and there is a bit of a gap here, okay? It is made intentionally sometimes. Sometimes the market touches here, but it, it misses by a few pips, which, which, which is the indication, which is a confirmation that it is a very good, very good place, okay? And the future prices are likely to, Stop here when the 
price reaches this area is likely you would have uh, price to reach here and hold here and make an important decision in this process so see to that so as simple as that when price touches let's go for a scalp in the direction of the trend okay and it gives you a seller reversal signal similar to this as you can see in daily big candle and there is the next day there is a big huge drop there is a piercing pattern here so you can go for a sell here and just do it okay okay same same goes to us to jpy same conditions same rules goes here this is a 2019 first half of the year second half of the year based on that i have drawn this is the yearly low this is the yearly high as you can see this is a six month high yes second six months high it is this is the first six months it's low is here the second day it crashed actually see this is very very important you can see why the low is very important see the price try to break that it could in again went up price try to break it it could in again from there it went up actually this is the yearly low it dropped a bit and from there it again pushes up okay the same pattern also you can see here based on that price drops goes up retest beautiful because this is these are the areas when the, when the price try to break the major low this pattern works very beautifully because this is a trap and fake point from there it goes up if you master this alone it is more than enough you have been good entry and you make good profits using that okay let's see if there is any uh, three months okay i have placed the line here and before that, I will show you see uh, the reactions. See, six months, you can see a reaction here. For six months, you can six months high, you can see the reaction here. If I could stop, 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 went again down again. There is a bit of a uh, stop here. As you can see, you can zoom. You can see there is a there is a bit of a rejection here. Hugely after it drops, the next time it touches here, it will drop for sure. Okay. So these two are very, very, very major play major areas market is trying to go in between them between these two okay same here actually the previous years people was actually 800 but see in the first quarter alone it will broke the low and again it went down to touch the yearly high within uh, three months in the first quarter alone 1100 pips within three months because of this corona and some other uh, economic situations we are facing okay okay now i'll show you uh, three months okay see it's here this is the yearly high as you can see the why the price couldn't able to touch the yearly high there is the first three months high this is the high this is the low this low happens to be the first six months low so i have taken that only okay so it happens to be the yearly first six months high happen to be the yearly highs so i haven't taken that that is enough don't have to draw two or more more lines and get confused if there is a yearly high that is the most important line if you see a magenta color that is the most important line as in half a point of perspective if you compare to compare these three the most important goes to the green one the next comes uh, magenta and the next comes the white line which is three months high but it can take the price it can take and take any levels i mean if there are two levels right here right there is a three months high and a yearly level the price has decided to come down in this level exactly see how perfect it is when you do not even see this here it touches the three months high exactly from there it touches that and drops okay if it couldn't go there many would uh, get confused why it is dropping here uh, these, these are the, these are the small reasons and smaller things we fail to see yes from there it will drop let's see if there is any other this is the next three months right let's see if the low is here high is there already there is a high is there so if you mark the low here here this is a low see here drop down scalp okay it's in uh, down direction here again drops it goes a uh, bit of retest here again scalp 
simple as that okay when the price reaches the uh, previous six months there's a big rejection here which means it's trying to go up so again goes up again it is testing you can see here again goes up so uh, like, like i said you many times market goes up massive and it comes down to the same price you can see a superb projection perfect entry point in the same area see only one line your mark there see how many ideas on and the ideas on the if you know the patterns on price reaction we can do it very beautifully okay again goes there and it stops i already told you in my pattern there is a reason and there is a bit of a restriction why the daily price could in able to touch here one when it's scalped okay in some pattern what is i have told you because there is there is a reason because there is a bit of a six month line here so the price what it do is it, it either goes there the other either it takes this six months line okay same happened here either it can touch here or you can take this okay we touch here i mean either the price can touch here and you can uh, it takes as a valid entry if not if price goes above it takes as a valid entry and stops there same here it can take here or the next uh, daily is here okay this price but in future when it comes down you can see the bit of moves here and here also so line charts are very very important the similar importance should be given to this high highs and low of the yearly half yearly and quarterly okay see to that this alone is enough you can do massively and very good trading in it okay these are the proofs i'm showing you using blank charts no indicators no yes nothing pure price action simple simple ideas it alone is enough okay so you can see six months three, this is a three months next three months high right as you can see here see rejection 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 there's a bit of a cluster here and it goes up and again it takes here and when it comes down see here the exact price price try to uh retest and comes down here it didn't take this price it it, it test here and it comes down actually so that is the beauty three months low this is a three months low it is it happens to be early so we i didn't mark that early is there already three months high this is a three months high three months low okay now this is the newly formed 2020 one quarter it's over you can use use this also now you can click that and use that to your advantage you can mark a new high here the price touches uh, in the future as you can see there is a 2019 first quarter high is here same 2020 first quarter high is in the same region it happens to be 2019 yearly high too so very good chance when the price is likely to hold here even it breaks a bit it likes to drop and then range a bit in this situation in this area okay read read price action is very important the so same here when price breaks again and comes to this area this is the first 2020 first quarter low it's likely to hold here also here when it comes here huge huge area so it will definitely stop here you can scalp here okay okay i hope it is very clear now after explaining this to you will get an idea so the most important thing is you should mark it very clearly and correctly that's what is very important okay see to that and and there is a one more thing as you can see i used a bit of a, a idea actually what happens is in uh, this is actually a daily candle this is a daily candle as you can see see here just see the candles it's actually same in h1 as you can see if you if you zoom the same thing it happens okay the price what it does is it actually starts from here goes up i'm taking this in the daily okay wait a minute this is the price action of a daily this is the period separator which means this means one day one day one day one day okay this is a one daily candle okay what happens is price starts from here goes up and again from there it drops again it drops and then it again closes at the same price at, the, at this price the next day as you can see the price try to go up and touch here this is the closing price right from there it again drops so this is the importance of 
closing price and opening price this will give an clear idea for you okay i just i use this i have placed this, this i use i don't uh, uh, use indicators usually but this, this this will give you an idea just to see a clear point of view so i'm using this so you can also go into my video youtube video in my channel and the first video will be this basic candle formation what happens so watch this video you will get an idea what's happening in uh, daily and then you can use this in your short term trading also okay this is very very powerful so you don't have to con get confused if you use this indicator it just helps you to identify in a day what's happening in the previous low where it is you don't have to search the data window every time and search for it you have to place lines you just simply you see if you want to see this phrase and you see which is the closing this is the closing price of this day so you just mark it and you can see so many rejection in this place simple as that okay for that purpose i am using this so candle formation is very very important closing price is most important opening price is also important you should see the opening price of the day also okay see to that use it to your advantage okay yes i, I am placing this indicator in, in the in this course uh, in this course in this folder you uh, i have placed it you can use it to your advantage okay this is usd jpy you can use it if you want okay but if you play 60 it will show you can change the uh, value here to weekly you can see also use and see the weekly charts in any time frames this is background color if you give false you don't get those shots it will be very clear for you so you can use it in any shots okay yes hope it is very clear now hope the idea here it is very clear hope i have explained uh, explained it and uh, hope you will understand this okay if not just try to rewatch the video as much as possible every time you watch you will uh, uh, get a new idea or you, it comes to you automatically this is what i do when i'm learning something i i just rewatch again first time it will be a bit of vague and uh, next time when i watch it you'll get an idea what i'm telling you when you watch three or four times again if you uh, face these lines and uh, later on you'll come to the conclusion and, uh, conclusion that uh, what i'm telling you and it will be very clear to you okay yes okay see you in the next video